That article that came out in Politico over the weekend is clear, unambiguous evidence for the success of the Russians at Bakhmut. And what does it say? Suddenly there are discussions in the White House, behind the scenes, State Department and elsewhere, that perhaps what we really want, Judge, is a frozen conflict. Yes. We want to turn Ukraine into another Korea and have a demilitarized zone. If Ukraine is winning, why would you suddenly express an interest in a frozen conflict? If you wanted unambiguous evidence for failure, that's it. Now, the next question is, if you're a Russian and you hear this, you laugh. Because the Russians are only now peaking. They've geared up. They're ready to complete the job. Why would they do business with us? Colonel, do you know if President Biden and Secretaries uh, Blinken and Austin, are they hearing this side of things? Anyone who walked into the Oval Office or into the conference rooms and the NSC staff and said the things that I do would be escorted off the grounds immediately. This is an ideologically pure organization that has decided that it is winning a war or must win a war against Russia in order to extend LGBTQ, RS, and everything else to the rest of the world. And that our way is the only way. It's us or destruction. There can be no compromise. We are right. We are morally superior. The Russians are evil and deserve to be destroyed. I mean, if you don't take that position, you're out. I saw this during the interventions in the Balkans. If you weren't willing to walk into the room with the various Clintonistas at that point who were advocating bombing Serbia, and you didn't cheer it on, I've got to get these Serbs and teach them a lesson, we're going to force diversity on them and so forth. If you didn't do that, you were out. You were out. The same thing is true now.